Hi, welcome to a priori algorithm practice. Uh, initially, we, we are in need of to install uh, uh, the a priori library, which is installed in the uh, Google uh, uh, Jupyter notebook. Not, uh, Jupyter notebook. Uh, here, uh, the problem statement is applying a a priori algorithm to generate association rules between different products uh, the given data set is having uh, 7500 transactions over the course of a week at french retail store that uh, that means the data set is having uh, 7500 samples so in that 7500 samples different items are there uh, we have to identify when uh, one item is uh, buying by the customer what is the related item that customer is uh, buying at the same time so we, if we are finding the association rule by uh, accessing that uh, uh, sold items which are bought by the customer in the past in the same time uh, then we can uh, uh, arrange the products in the grocery store or uh, beside that uh, i mean uh, near to each item uh, to make the customer uh, uh, to buy easily and to access that items uh, simply uh, for that uh, we have to calculate the parameters in a priori algorithm with uh, for all combination of items uh, given in the data set uh, support uh, this, that means support of the item uh, b equal to calculated by transaction of containing item b divided by total number of transaction in the given uh, data set like that confidence also can be calculated uh, confidence of item a implies item b in the sense uh, transactions containing each transaction that contains both item a and item b uh, divided by number of transactions having only the item a uh, so here when you are accessing the uh, confidence we should calculate for the both item a and b sold by uh, the um, uh, market at the same time uh, lift in the sense lift refers uh, how how much ratio we are increasing uh, the sale of uh, item b when the item a is sold that means when customer a is uh, customer buying the item a and uh, how many times he is uh, buying the b also that is the meaning of this lift so lift uh, a implies b that means whenever customer a is buying uh, i mean uh, whenever customer uh, uh, buying the b product all uh, right so that will be combined with the a so that is calculated by using confidence of a implies b divided by support of b all right so for initially we are importing the numpy mat matplotlib and the pandas package and we are uh, uh, importing the a priori algor uh, uh, algorithm uh, into our uh, Jupyter notebook then my file is available in this uh, path so uh, I am accessing that uh, path uh, then I am displaying the uh, uh, given data set using the pandas package so here uh, this data set is uh, displaying uh, first five records but this is the header is not available in the given data set so this is actually one of the sample this is also one of the sample so we are making the header is not available in the data set so we are remo uh, we are uh, uh, accessing the uh, file without header so here so this also is one of the sample in the given data set so here default header is given as a uh, uh, zeroth feature first feature like that so here i am displaying the shape of the given data set uh, 7501 comma uh, 20 uh, 20 is the number of features then we should uh, apply the pre-processing here actually here we are having the data set in the name of uh, set of columns and set of uh, i mean uh, number of rows number of columns and uh, number of rows uh, so this can uh, this this should be uh, make as a number of transactions for a priori algorithm so for that uh, making uh, transactions we need to uh, convert that data set into a list of lists each list will contain transaction each list will contain 
transaction uh, that will be formed in the uh, in, in the procedure uh, uh, procedure list which is having the inner list within the outer big list the entire data set is called outer big list then each transaction will be inner list into the outer big list uh, so this can be converted by using the data frame pandas that uh, i mean converted by from the da pandas data frame into list of lists by using the uh, for loop here i am uh, uh, making empty list name is records then i am moving from 0 to 7501 uh, rows uh, here uh, then the data set is having 7500 samples uh, the it is uh, so we are making the 7501 we are um, creating the uh, uh, records uh, by using the values of the data data is the data set so based upon that we are keep on creating the list we are keep on creating the records not a list we are keep on uh, creating the records okay then uh, here uh, we are applying the a priori algorithm uh, to extract the rules so here the list is created in the form of records in the variable of records so here list is created by using the variable records it is stored uh, uh, applying the a priori algorithm to extract the rules for each possible combination of items here the large data set is having the uh, 7500 transactions for that we have to identify frequent item sets frequent item sets will be uh, uh, calculated by using the uh, minimum support count and confidence that means which is finding the we are we are interested to find the rules uh, with the different combination of the items to uh, uh, sell to the customer so that should be uh, satisfy the minimum support and minimum confidence uh, so here we will extract all the subsets whichever um, record is having i mean whichever item is having uh, more than uh, the minimum support count and minimum uh, confidence so we will use that then based upon the minimum support count and the minimum uh, confidence we will uh, uh, sell the uh, i mean we are the customer uh, buy that products in the different combination so for that we will calculate the first uh, extract the rules and based upon the minimum support count and confidence uh, we will use the minimum lift parameter to match that combination uh, finally the length of the uh, combination also we have to use minimum items that means each um, uh, each uh, whenever the customer is buying at least we, he will uh, take one more product from the market so minimum two two items combination we can uh, fix by using the minimum length parameter so here we are uh, creating the rules of uh, by using the a priori algorithm records are 7500 uh, minimum support count we are calculating here we are calculating for the minimum support count uh, uh, based upon each product is uh, by, each product is by uh, at least five times by the customer in seven days so the whichever product is uh, uh, sold five times that will be considered in the data set uh, for seven days so 35 times it will be appear minimum in the uh, data set okay so five times it is sold uh, uh, throughout the entire week seven days so 35 is the minimum support count we are using so 35 number 35 times it is appearing in the data set out of 7500 so we are getting the minimum support count is 0 0.0045 minimum confidence we can set manually by uh, uh, so here uh, 20 percentage of the minimum confidence so we are setting 0 0.2 here and uh, lift minimum lift is here uh, three uh, three uh, 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 three uh, products is yes, set, set here so the length of the uh, uh, items to set the rules to create the rules we are using minimum at least uh, two items to generate the rules then uh, based upon the a priori algorithm with these arguments generating the rules this the rules cannot be weaved uh, by uh, directly so the rules are uh, uh, assigned into uh, i mean uh, the rules are created in the form of list so we are applying the 
list method uh, to convert that uh, uh, output of this a priori algorithm uh, into list of rules list of rules so association rules are generated here in the form of list 48 rules are generated uh, based upon this minimum support count and confidence uh, here we are uh, uh, displaying the uh, first rule the first rule is having a combination of uh, two items chicken and uh, uh, light cream ice cream so with the support count of 0 0.0045 what we have given here 0 0.0045 and uh, the uh, uh, this item is uh, selected from the individual items light cream and chicken so the confidence is what we have given 0 0.29 uh, here we have given only uh, one digit so it is taking a number of digits so here lift what is the ratio uh, of by uh, buying these two products combination so 4.84 so that is what given here so 4.84 times more likely to buy by the customers who are uh, buying the light cream uh, compared to default likelihood of sales so there's the possibility of 4.84 times they are buying whenever uh, they are buying the chicken they will buy the light cream they will buy the light cream right in the combination so 4.84 times they bought in a week so that's what given here so this is for only single uh, rule uh, then here we are creating the uh, association or uh, uh, results i mean rules for inner list different combination here so many rules are there so totally 48 rules actually totally 48 rules are there so among the 48 rules so we have uh, explained only the first one so second one is uh, explained here uh, the second one is here the mushroom is mushroom cream sauce is combination with escalope so the support count is 0 0.005 uh, here uh, this confidence is 0 0.30 so what it says uh, the confidence for this result is 0 0.3 which means out of all the transactions containing mushroom 30 percentage of the transactions are likely to contain escalope here finally the lift source 3.7 times 79 times more likely to bought by the customer whenever they are buying the mice, mushroom uh, cream sauce um, with that escalope so compared to the default sale so like this we can create the set of rules uh, based upon a priori algorithm thanks for watching